Bula Bula and welcome back to the Bula story. In this episode, we are in the birthplace of Bula, Fiji. The one thing Greg and John said that we absolutely had to do in Fiji was this. One more. No. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a quick history lesson. This is Greg Barden and John Goldsberry, two ski racers from Durango, Colorado. These guys created one of the world's biggest sport brands, Bula. It all started back in 1983, when Greg and John went to New Zealand for a ski racing competition. They traveled on to Australia, but all the snow had melted. Then Greg said, Hey, I'm up, Fiji. So they left their skis at the airport and started exploring the islands. Everywhere they went, the locals yelled out Bula Bula! which is a Fijian greeting that stands for good life, health and happiness. Back home they began making surf shorts, beanies and headwear, inspired by the island's carefree spirit and greeting. Unknowingly, they had started what was going to become a worldwide action sports phenomenon. 35 years later, we are traveling in Greg and John's footsteps in search of the good life. My name is Andreas, that's Chris, and this is the Bula Story. <laughs> Next stop, Fiji. This is gonna be so crazy. Plus, we upgraded the first class too. Good to go. Thanks. Going first class. Good old stuff. Okay, New Zealand. It's been a blast. It's been so much fun. The best country we've ever been to. Yeah, and it was winter. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I no. can't imagine how it is in the summer, but New Zealand, you rock. Cheers. We have finally reached Fiji, the place where Greg and John ended their journey in 1983 and got the idea to start Bula. Well, what happened yesterday? We arrived late, we're really tired because we have traveled so much, and we were laying in the bed and trying to plan our trip, and I fell asleep. And Andreas booked the hotel. So I'm really excited, I haven't seen it, and I just saw the picture and it looks amazing. And it's actually the place they uh, filmed Castaway, so this is really cool. We got on a boat and started to explore the Fijian islands. Castaway was truly an amazing place. We even found this guy. Wilson! There was only one problem. We're in Fiji, how could you have goosebumps? I think I have a fever. And, of course, he did. So we spent the rest of our time in Castaway getting Chris well. Chris, you're back. Back on track. Next stop is heaven on earth, Liku Liku. Bula! Bula! This is ridiculous. This is crazy ridiculous. <laughs> Chris was asleep when I booked this hotel, so he don't have any idea what he's coming to. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Oh my god, look at this! This is so nice! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Greg, John, I don't know if you felt like this when you came to Fiji, but we sure do. Man, this is the craziest! This is the nicest place in the whole world. One, two and a half. Two and a half meter, it's not a big pool. Yeah, dude, man! 
fucking scary, dude. <laughs> <laughs> We live there. It is so beautiful here. What are you up to? We're going to snorkel. Snorkel? Yeah. Alright. Spot some sharks. Alright. <laughs> okay, see you later, dude. One thing Greg and John said that we absolutely had to do in Fiji was this. The locals invited us to a traditional Fijian kava ceremony. Kava is a drink made from the dried and powdered root of an indigenous pepper plant and is known to make people feel relaxed. It is served in a coconut shell and you can choose either half cup, which is called low tide, or full cup, which is high tide. Kava is used for celebrations and ceremonies for health and good life. It's made from the plant. We only take the root of the plant from eastern side of Fiji. Oh, one, when you drink, say bola, after then three times. Never All right, so, so I'm gonna try the Fijian kava, which is something you have to do uh, before you leave Fiji. You drink the whole thing? Yep. Bula. 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 Don't be afraid, I'll tell you to smile. Eh? Give your stuff face. Bula! Mala! It wasn't too bad. Nice. Nice, eh? Like a kalwa? Kalwa. Like a, like a tea. <laughs> like a tea kalwa. Bula. Bula. It's not really good. Numbs your tongue yeah, a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Yeah, I feel it in my tongue too. <laughs> <laughs> feel it in my tongue. It was, it was, it was okay, it was okay. I'm it didn't. Uh... <laughs> Come, Steve. Come for Steve. Yes. Come, Steve. Come, Steve. Oh, man, if the Come Fijians Steve. don't drink kava. Yeah, yeah, I don't drink kava. Why should we drink it? Huh? Uh, because why? Why don't you want it? <laughs> because. <laughs> This guy. Oh. Steve, very funny guy. <laughs> One more. No. <laughs> Every night. Every night. You drink uh, every night? Yeah. You drink every night. Yeah, it's not like Just alcohol. Like you guys, the more you, you get alcohol, the next day you hang out. You, you don't want it again. Yeah. Yeah, but for us, yeah. The more every the better. The more the every better. night. 20 bags. Yeah. Sometimes it's for 35, one night. 40 bags a night. For, you joke, you. Yes. Chris is on number two. Yes. It was worse this time. It tasted more kava. <laughs> 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 you get drunk, that's why you're yelling too much. Big Bula! <laughs> <laughs> this is nothing like I imagined. No. If Number you three. This, you're a pro. Bula! Oh my. Woo! Three in a row, you're a pro. We make babies in Kama, eh? <laughs> you make babies in Kama? Yes, you make babies in Kama, eh? No more for me. He's not liking this. 
<laughs> Next on the Bula story. Chris is taking the beard. What is this? It's like a nose trimmer. <laughs> 